y'all. <laughs> I'm in my minivan. Don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna show you what minivan Lee has in her van. Let's go through some stuff, okay? It's been a while. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. You know, I love to play. I love to pretend. So, this is it. I want to show you what's in here. Let me move this around. It's going to be sort of unedited. There we go. Okay. It's during the day. There's a storm coming. I thought this is what we would do today. Yeah. I'm going to show you some of the things in here. Now, here's the thing. It's, it's not messy, but it's not really straightened up real well. I thought, let's just, I could straighten it up so you could see me put a couple things away. Also, here's the thing that I have with, like, van tours. Everybody makes everything all perfect and beautiful and everything in its place. But that's not the way that van life is. I mean things get out of place. I mean, you get one thing out in a small area, you got to put it right back again because otherwise it's just a mess. It feels messy. So right now, this doesn't feel messy, messy, but kind of. Okay. I'm going to show you what's in my drawers. There we go. Okay. Okay. So yes, I still have a broken drawer. <laughs> I have not fixed it yet. These bins, these are one, one, two, three. I have three bins here. And some of you has asked, how did I get these pretty little bins? Well, <laughs> I'm going to show you something. I got to redo this really bad. I've been kind of putting it off, but it's just paper. And look at it. It's just, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just like a piece of a poster board. And then I taped over uh, wrapping paper. I get it at Dollar Tree. And you got to get the right size so it slips right in there. There you go. But this one is broke. What happened was I have to pull these out sometimes to get my get my blanket under here. So I pull it out, push it, and then I have to push it back. And I took my foot and I pushed it. Yeah, it just snapped. It broke. It's kind of... but. In here are things like vitamins, salt and pepper. Push it, push it, salt and pepper. Remember them? <laughs> yeah. Um, see, what's this? Black truffle oil. Ooh. Wellness tabs. Honey. Syrup. Uh, just... A few spices are in here. I've gotten used to it. I can't push it like that, but I've gotten used to pushing it like that. In here is my coffee. <laughs> I know. This is this is my drip, and I still have this in here. In case I want to make another cup of coffee, I just add a little bit more grounds to this to make it strong. Cinnamon Dolce. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. This is also Starbucks Mocha. Yeah. Got my creamers in here. And what I did. Yeah. I kind of keep all of my coffee stuff in here. We're raiding Minivan Lee's private, private stuff here. This one here's where I keep my tray. I love this tray. I got it at Ikea. They still sell them. You can go get your own. It's perfect for me. I like the lip on it. Some of you, this is very redundant for some of you. You've already seen this stuff. But some of you haven't. No. What's in here? Oh, this thing is full. Okay, let's get up here. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's in here? Whew. Are these teas? 
I think are these spices. These are spices. I know, look at this. This is where I kind of keep my packs. Um, like, like raisins, tuna, packs of things. Here's some cocoa nibs. These are good. It's really good for you. Some of you know what they are, cocoa nibs. Yeah. You can just kind of chew on them every once in a while. Oatmeal, tea, yeah, a ramen. I eat ramen. I've probably eaten ramen once, once in like two years, <laughs> seriously. But I do carry it around because it's good survival food. This, this is like overstuffing it. I don't get in here very often. me extra food yeah okay down here I have to pull this back um let's pull this out okay there we go toothpaste I keep all my toothpaste toothbrushes in here I have a USB toothbrush just some extra things like floss stuff so it's easy when I get ready in the morning or in the evening and wash up I just pull this out I've got my alcohol um, my tea tree oil deodorant I don't wear deodorant a lot but every once in a while if it's really hot and muggy my my perfume whoops went the other way yeah. um my face stuff hyaluronic acid use this in the morning retinal a use this in the evening well and then there's some lotions down in here yeah put this back there we go what's in here this is miscellaneous stuff, food. <laughs> and every once in a while, I'd like to have something sweet. This is really a cheap way to go. It's tang. It's got vitamin C. Mustard. Um, uh, some uh, shredded wheat. <laughs> I did get some. Let's move this up. I did get some of that Horizon milk. They come in little individuals so that I can have cereal every once in a while. Every once in a while. I did buy this yesterday, cashew butter. I'm running out of my packets of ranch dressing. I love to dip my apples into ranch dressing. I just love it. But the ranch dressing that I get at Amazon it just is uber expensive now. I don't know what the deal is. And they come in packets because I don't have refrigeration or an ice box in my van. So I thought, mm, maybe every once in a while I'll dip it into cashew butter. Something kind of a special treat. I do have my apple over here. I still got to eat my apple today. I've had my cucumber. I got two of them. I ate one of them really good. This is odds and ends of some tea. I know I didn't put these away properly. It's more um, of the tuna creations. There's a dollar a piece. Now at Walmart, these really went up. It went up to like a dollar twenty-seven. I thought, I mean, that's that's kind of a high percentage to go up. But I saw them; they're a dollar again, so I bought a few of them. These make a great snack. What I do is just rip it open. Maybe put some, um, if I have a mayo packet, put it in there and I just eat it out with a spoon out of the, out of the, it's, um, packet. It makes a great quick snack. Tostitos cheese. Got these at Walmart. I carry A1 sauce. Don't tell anybody. Mindy Van Lee likes A1 sauce and she also likes the Heinz 57. 
bought this at a Dollar Tree. This is only a buck. If you buy a little larger one and you buy this at Walmart, it's like $4.50 or more. What else is in here? I'll talk about this later, but this is some of that. Um, it's a mixture that makes uh, black bean burgers. Paul bought a big can of it. It's dried, and I took I put some of this in mine, and I made a couple of burgers really good. Quinoa. Saltines that are getting smashed. <laughs> I know. I need to clean these out. You know how I can clean these out better? I mean, these are like, I need to redo this. This is horrible. The, the, the only way that this is really going to get cleaned out and everything is when I buy new ones. If I could find three of the same. Okay, these are pecans and walnuts. These are really good. Ooh, I forgot about these. Dried cranberries. I'm glad I'm going through this. This is uh, one of those um, rice that comes in two, and I think it's Uncle Ben's, and it's already cooked. And this is one I got left. I don't even know what kind of rice it is anymore. Um, some mayo packets. This is to makes chocolate pudding. Um, I went to the food bank about a month ago and these were in there I wasn't willing to I could actually make pudding because I have milk and just eat it <laughs> pudding chocolate pudding okay that's it yeah and then I always keep my um, sandwich sized baggies okay let's put all this back this is kind of a catch-all drawer a food that I'm, although this, I'm not too sure about this. I do have some soup cans in another bin. I like to have them around just in case. I do like to eat um, crackers with my soup. How about you? Okay. I'm just kind of throwing these back in here. I'll work it out later, right? This doesn't need to be in here on this drawer, but I haven't put it away. Okay. There we go. Okay. This drawer is kind of empty. I should put some things in here. But I reserved this, so see, I'm only, I only got a couple of uh, ranch packets. I've got creamy French. Oh, there's a packet. Just condiments that I've picked up along the way. And this is soy sauce, sweet and sour sauce. Oh, this is Parmesan cheese packets, mustard ketchup. Oh, there's some packets too. I could better get these out so I can use them. Ranch is my favorite. Get this out. Definitely my favorite, but I'm not spending forty dollars for a box of sixty. That's almost like seventy-five cents a piece. No, no, not gonna happen. Not on my watch. <laughs> I can get rid of this big bag. I go with the smaller one. Yeah, put them in here. So you enjoying this? Put this in here. This is my van. I haven't showed it in a long time. I said it's a little. Let me get through these drawers and it'll go faster once I get through these. These are my main drawers in here. These in here are things that I use a lot. Let me put this in here. So I have some creamy Italian packets coming. Craft, and I'm going to use those. Like Susie's baggies. I guess I'll roll them. Wait a minute, let me just. I'll roll them up. 
kind of stick it on the side there. I stick it there. Now, what do I got in here? Let's see. Cans. Cans of food. Okay. Cans that I'm quite possibly going to eat soon. In here, dishes. Like my cutting. Can opener, knife, yeah. In here, oh my gosh. This is, this is like beauty um, miscellaneous. Some makeup sponges. This is the only ones I could find at that one point. So, jewelry, this is a jewelry case. It's from Japan. A friend of mine gave it to me. She traveled to Japan a lot. It's got a place for rings, earrings, and then pockets. It's for traveling. Well, that's me. I'm traveling, so. I got rid of most of my jewelry when I got rid of when I moved out of my house. Uh, this is just, these are the ointments that I might need. Let's see. I use A and D, and what I do is I refill. I have two of these little um, make makeup sample little. It's got a little top on it. See, I just refill them. Uh, with A and D. One time I had chapped lips from hell, and it would not go away. The only thing that helped was A and D ointment, you know, the clear A and D, not with zinc oxide for babies, but A and D for babies, and I've been using it ever since. Just an extra thing of toothpaste, um, zinc oxide, um, uh, A and D, in case there's a little rash, you know. And this is cool and heat, and. The other thing, but I'm keeping it in here now, is hydrocortisone because sometimes my neck really kind of breaks out in the summer. If I keep anything on my neck, um, it'll break out. So I've been keeping this handy. So that's it for ointments. That's in here. I've got wash rags. Oops, don't go anywhere. I showed this on my last video. This is my sewing kit. <laughs> I know, I know. Threaded needles. Um, some extra, this is what I use on my face. This is uh, Retinol A. I use this at night. The thing with Retinol A, guys and girls, it's the only real proven thing that can, that you put on your face, that can uh, take away little by little by little it's like not even inch by inch but it's very slow it it takes care of wrinkles and spots now seriously if you use this you have to be careful because it makes your face sensitive to the sun and you don't want to be getting melanoma on your face so it makes it very sensitive so you have to in the morning if you're not going to be careful don't use this just don't um, because you have to use I use a sun block on my face not sun um, sunscreen I use a block which has uh, it's a mineral uh, sunscreen and it has um, zinc oxide in it and it literally blocks the Sun okay and this is what I use every morning after I wash my face when and I put this on when my face is just a little bit still not wet but damp what it does is it seals in moisture yes softens lines around your lips around your face people say wow your face is so young 
these are the two things I use. I haven't always used these either. My daughter's the one that I asked her, I said, you know, I'm getting older and um, I'm getting some of those dark spots on my face. What do I use? And she sent me to Dr. Dre, a D-R-A-Y, not Dr. Dre, the hip, the hip hop rapper. Okay, <laughs> Dr. Dre, yeah. Um, but this is Dr. Dre, she's a dermatologist. She's very popular on um, YouTube. Okay, just more hair stuff. Vaseline. Um, this is an um, armrest. Uh, wrist guard. <laughs> armrest. Okay. Um, Band-aids. Hair. Uh, I have a little bit of Epsom salts left for my feet. Peppermint. Oh, I forgot I had this. Mmm, peppermint. This is orange. There's a hair on there. I need to clean this. Mmm, orange. Orange oil. Love it. And then I got some bigger bandages. And, okay. Well, that's what's in here. Now you know what's in all my drawers. The big drawer reveal. I've had people actually tell me, though, well, you carry way too much stuff. I don't think I do. I mean, I might need these things. I mean, this is my house. Um, I like to live a normal life, and I like to have things um, as I need them. Now, if if I find like in a year that I haven't used any of this stuff, I've purged so much stuff. But then I found that after I purge, I'll end up rebuying it again. It's like, ugh, you know, I don't want to waste my money like that. So, here. Yeah. Okay. Blankets and pillows. I do have two wool blankets here, but... Um, I keep them here, summer and winter both. I use these in the winter. And then I have this real fuzzy blanket. And then I have my pillows, and then I have another Serpa blanket. And then this is a yoga blanket. I just cover it up so I don't have to look at it all day. Okay, let's keep going, okay? Here. Now, this is what I have. I put down a set of towels here. Put one here and one here. This is just to catch crumbs or um, just to protect my blankets so I don't have to wash them so much. But under that, I have a folded over Mexican blanket and this one over here. And then this is another yoga blanket. And then under that is my rug, my carpeting. So I've got good padding. I mean, this is pretty padded. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's go over here. What do I got over here? What does Minnie Man Lee have over here? Um, I've got my mirror here. I've got it hooked to the seat belt thing. Okay. Down here, my carpeting was bigger, so I didn't cut it. I just let it go up. And this makes a nice pocket. I've got some notes. You know, I do a lot of research for my videos and these are things for the for my book and this is for my next video I just park it in here bought a new pen this is my clipboard and let me put this away what I do is I park it in there now this is my pen let me put this right there okay put my pen right there now, what I do down here is I've got a pair of scissors. I use scissors a lot, so I just put them right there. Here's my bushcraft knife. And this is my alarm. Do you ever see one of these? These are for doors, the threshold of a door. It's not on. I turn it on, 
And if somebody was to come in, you push it against the door on the inside. If somebody tries to come in, the door opens it and pushes this down. And this most shrill, uh, yeah, sound. So I just keep it here. And also I'd have to turn it on and go like that. And then somebody, everybody would hear it. Probably scare the crap out of somebody. Here's my, let's see. Let's get some more light in here. Oh, yeah. My fairy lights. Yeah. Now, I got this plugged in. Okay. In here, a cord for my toothbrush to plug it in. These are my um, flash drives. It's another flash drive. Here's some microphone stuff. Yeah, so that I just keep those in there. I know that they're in there. Yeah. So that's what this is. And then down here, I keep this jacker here. And I keep my phone plugs in here. Let me plug this one in. Yeah. And then when this one runs low, I change it with that one over there. And that's where I plug in for the solar. So I just kind of move around. And this is where I keep my uh, uh, Bluetooth speaker. Oops. Whoopsie. Now, okay, moving on. Moving on down the line. This is where I keep my sleeping bag. I rolled this out for my bed. It's very poofy. It's very big. Yeah. Okay. Here's my, um, let's see. What does it say? 79 degrees and it's 50 53% humidity. I like to keep track of humidity in here. Light. This is another coffee cup. And another coffee cup. Down here, I keep a notebook. Pencil. Well, I keep um, my um, big index cards in here. And I keep a light down in here. Yeah, there you go. Moving on. <laughs> okay. Moving on. See right here? This is where I keep some stuff. I keep paper towels right here. Let's see if we can come over here. Paper towels right here. It's on a stick. Um, water bottle. Spray. Water, drinking water. Garbage bags. Butane, vinegar water, bear spray, and fire stop. I keep this handy, fire stop. Back scratcher, and a cord for my electric kettle to boil water in. That's what I keep there. Oh, and what is this? This purple thing, it's one of those square cloth bins that you put in like, you know, um, let's see, I don't even know what they're called. They look like little bookshelves, one, two, three, and you can put those in there. Well, I like to use those, and what I do is I take out that bottom square, the thing that keeps it hard in there, but I don't want it to keep its form because I want to put other things in here. So it's kind of formless and I can form it the way I want it to fit all of my bottles in there. Yeah. Okay, let's come over here. Here's my dresser. Oh yeah. I'm My dressers, I've got so much clothes stuffed in there. Yeah. I try to carry the kind of clothes that don't wrinkle, but sometimes they do. This is actually pretty organized because I just did laundry, but 
um, shirts, different. These are long sleeve shirts, short sleeves, underwear. Uh, yeah, it's a little organized. <laughs> this thing is getting so full. It's my bottoms. I have to shove them in there. My jeans, shorts, my shorts, all my bottoms are in here. And it's just full. Whew. And then I've got let's get this. All my bathing suits down here. And a couple of heavy sweatshirts just in case. I don't want them up here. There's no room for them. But I do like to have a sweatshirt. Um, just in case I'm up in the mountains, I go up there. My winter clothes are really packed underneath in the basement of what I call my basement. It's in the well of where my third row seats would have gone, would be. And it's impossible to get under there without tearing everything out. Yeah. Okay. Got my yes rock. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so up here... Oh yeah, up here. <sighs> this is my fairy light. Let me turn my fairy lights on. Up there. These are I've got two strands. I got one strand going this way and one strand going this way, but they all meet around. Yeah. Let me get some. There we go. Pink, blue, green. We could be Christmas. Woo! It's Christmassy. Purple. Red and purple. But, okay. So here, that's what this is here. My apple I'm going to eat. Up here I keep things. I try to keep this open so I can set something down on here. I don't set a lot of things like in the morning. Sometimes I'll set my coffee up here. Basically, this is one of those cloths microfiber to clean my phone or my glasses this is another this is just a bigger one purple handkerchief i try to keep things neat here and then this is the pouch that i usually pin onto my pants so i can carry my keys a lip gloss and a um a flosser, one of those green things to flush my teeth. I hate, like if I go to a restaurant, I want to have a flosser. I want to go in the restroom and kind of floss my teeth. Yeah. But this is pretty cool. I bought this at Walmart. It's one of those ice cubes trays. It's a silicone. I love the color, right? But what I did was here, I cut out this little membrane and I cut it out in here. That way I can sit things in there. So I've got my lip gloss. I got one. Have you ever seen these? I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> I know. Um, it wasn't too expensive, but if some of you know what this is, I don't use it very often. It's one of the things that um, it exercises your jaw. It keeps your jawline. Um, oh, I better turn on the fan. Woo. Oh, it's getting warm in here. Yeah, it's one of those things that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shh. We're using Minnie Van Lee's mouth thing. <laughs> we better cl cleanse that when we're done. And you do it until your jaw feels kind of tired. You should do it like two, three times a day. I've done it for a long time. But it's supposed to keep your jaw and your neck kind of exercised. Okay, so what else is in here? Got a lighter. I got some resin. It really smells good. I've had it for years. It's just a thing that's got a little... So there's resin in there. It's, oh, it's, it really smells good. And then I've got my little through night flashlights. I just keep them in here if I need a little flashlight. And then here's... And I got some bobby bobby pins in here. Oops, I'm doing it and I'm not even showing you. But if it's put the bobby pin in there. But if it's really nice right here, it keeps everything in the apartment and it doesn't slide. Now here's a little box. It's pretty tight in here. Um, 
glasses. Okay. Let's move this over. This, I can just pump it right there. Like after I use my pee bottle, I always afterwards um, sterilize my hands, yeah. Um, here's my one glasses. And this is lined with pens. I don't know why I keep it here. It's a Gorilla Glue. But, you know, I, I always know where it's at. You know? Oh, I forgot about this. This is my, this goes with my um, singing bowl. Uh, some of these little um, clips. I use a lot of those. This is my channel mode. channel mode. Sometimes I listen to FM radio with this. I keep this handy. Let's see. Let's put this in here. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is. You remember, I remember Paul talked about this. I forget what the name of them are, but they're those can openers. I do have them. I have one. I have four of them. I don't know, just odds and ends. I mean, it's like a clip. Looks like a roach clip, doesn't it? I guess I could use it for one. But I don't smoke pot. I do not. I used to. I don't know, a spring, it just seemed like, I wasn't sure where it came from, and I thought, I better keep it. <laughs> Sometimes you never know where it fell out from. And a couple of rubber bands, blah, blah, blah. Here's a little teeny weeny little zip tie. Sometimes you just need those little things. When you need them, you need them, right? Let me see if I can shut this. There we go. Now, in here, well, there's a magnifying glass. This thing came off. Magnifying glass. That's just odds and ends in this little makeup case. Okay. So, that's that. This little hair clip. <laughs> okay. Okay, what do we add here? Oh, we're at 39 minutes. I may have to do part two. Let me see. I do want to show you something, though. This is kind of new. Let's see. Yeah. This is a fish fishing tackle box I looked and looked and looked for a makeup case because <laughs> when I go into the gym I want to do my hair and I want to do my face okay we're a little cockeyed but I get tired of carrying these containers in so I bought this one time I went into the gym and some, some lady left. She goes, oh, you're going fishing. <laughs> she recognized it was a fish. I got it at Walmart. It was only like $12. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Hair stuff down here. Combs, scissors, lotion. Yeah, hairspray, hair... Uh, conditioner, you know, to spray on your hair, makeup, hair stuff, makeup. Pretty cool, huh? And it always sits right there because it doesn't fit in anything. I've gotten used to looking at it, but it's easy to carry it. <laughs> I'm going fishing. Yeah. Now, these I have to put away. My socks, that's what I mean by sometimes I don't like things just to set out. These are my cut off jeans. I just sat them up here. 
But these are the little things, like I had this in my hair today. These are the little things that drive me crazy. You can't just let this sit around. So what I did, so what I do, I'm gonna put this away. Oh, the time we got 42. These in here, my arm gaiters, I keep everything in a baggie. You know that, if you know me, and you've been watching me, right? My neck gaiters, the different kind of neck gaiter. Yeah, my shemogs are in here. I've got some uh, vinyl gloves if I need them. Well, and I got some hats in here. So, I think next time I'll go, uh-oh, things are falling out. If you still like inner gators, if you still need some, it's a pretty cool, they're very comfortable. I love my neck gators. I still have a few. So go to minivan, minivanly.com. I got the neck gaiters and I've got all my arm gaiters. Yeah, I mean, some of you still buying them, but I don't have a whole lot left. So if you want any of these, you better grab them now. And I'll show you what's in these bins next time. Yeah. So, minivanly.com exercise videos get off your butt let's start exercising I've got different videos and they're good in fact today I was at the gym and I did my own I did I did a lot of weights I did some upper body stuff I'm gonna start doing more upper body but I also did I did at, at uh, then I went swimming and then I went back up to the gym to do some floor exercises and that's when um, I used my own uh, complete exercise video it's not expensive, it's on sale. It's like two cups of coffee is all it costs. And it helps support me. So do the arm gaiters and the neck gaiters if you buy those. Now if you wanna just give me a gift, some people, a lot of people give gifts to um, YouTubers um, because in the summer especially we don't make a lot of um, money off of what we do, so. But if you wanna give me a gift, I get 100%, uh, even my neck, I get 100% of everything because I'm the one selling them on my own website. Yeah, and the book. Buy the book. I am in the process of writing another book. I've been busy today. And also, please subscribe and give me the thumbs up. You know, subscribing really does help me. A lot of you that watch aren't subscribed. Um, so if you really do want to help me, go ahead and subscribe. And, I, and it really helps me, too, to watch the video all the way through. And I know sometimes you say, oh, those, your videos are so long. Well, I like, a lot of people like the long videos. A lot of you do. And if you ever get tired of watching the video through, just turn it off and come back to it. YouTube is really cool that way. It's very functional. It will save your place for you. <laughs> it always does. So, till next time, I'll show you what's in all of these. I know sometimes you guys like, you want to see what I have? You want to see what I use? I get it. I do like to carry stuff that gives me style. I like to be stylish. I like to wear jewelry. There's no sense that a, a YouTuber has to be, you know, plain and, and it's, it's no big deal. You don't have to be all plain to be if you're, if you're a nomad. Even if you're out, even if you're just out uh, boondocking, you don't have to do that. So. I'll end with my singing bowl.